In this video, we are designing the solar power generation for home using MATLAB Simlink. Before going to design, let's see what are the elements required for solar powered home. So if you take the solar panel here, nothing but the PV panel, we are getting the direct power from this solar panel, right? So if you give the solar panel input as irradiation and temperature, then you will get the DCS output. Okay. But here we are taking the this solar power generations to home, right? So if you take this is home, our homes required what we want 240 volts AC supply, right? But here in solar we are getting the DC. So to convert this DC to AC, we must require the power electronic device, nothing but inverter, right? So we need to connect inverter, right? So here I am taking the inverter. This inverter can convert this DC to AC, not AC. It just convert the pulsating AC only. Means if you give the direct current here, then we are getting the pulsating AC only, not pure AC. But our home required the pure AC. So to convert this pulsating AC to pure AC, again we need to connect a passive filter. Okay, we need to connect a passive filter is nothing but LC filter, LCL filter, whatever it may be, you can take, give it to the your home. Here we are getting the pulsating AC to pure AC if you connect the passive filter. Okay, but the thing is, in solar, the output DC is depending on temperature and irradiation, right? So here in atmosphere, temperature is not constant. It is varying from morning to evening, right? In afternoon time only, we are getting the maximum power, okay? But in morning time and evening time, we are getting the low power, right? But at any time, we need to give the load to constant supply. So we need to give 240 volts supply 24 hours. But in solar panel, we are getting the maximum power only at afternoon. In morning time, in evening time or in cloudy days, we are not getting the exact output. Okay. So for that purpose, we need to boost up the voltage. Okay. We need to increase the voltage whenever you are not getting the much voltage from solar panel due to cloudy days or rainy time. Okay. So here connect the boost converter. Why? Because at some time we are not getting the exact voltage required for the grid or load. So to meet the load, we need to connect a boost converter. Okay. Actually, after converting the pure AC, you can also connect transformer also to step up the voltage. Okay. If you connect the transformer here, then no need to connect the boost converter here. These two operations are same. Here also we are increasing the voltage and here also we are increasing the voltage by using the step up transformer. But when compared to these two, boost converter and transformer, transformer have so much cost and require more space. But here in boost converter, just inductor and single diode with the help of switch you can design okay when compared to transformer this boost converter designing is very simple that's why i'm not connecting the step up transformer here i'm only taking the boost converter before inverter okay but the ultimate thing is we need to increase the voltage that is the reason behind why we are connecting the boost converter here so here in boost converter we have switches right and this inverter also we are having the switches so to turn on and to turn off the switches, we need to give a pulses. So we also take a pulse generation also for this inverter switches and this boost converter switch. That's it. These are the elements required for our solar power generation. And we need to take a capacitor between solar panel and this boost converter. Why? Because here in solar, we are not getting the continuous supply. Okay. It is varying. So to reduce the that ripple factor. So now let's connect this circuit in MATLAB. Now open your MATLAB. After opening MATLAB, click on Simlink. Now open library to take the elements. So here you can take the elements what we required. First of all, take solar panel in Simscape, Simpower Systems, Specialty Technologies, Renewables. You can get the PV array. So we add this block. And what we need? We need to give a irradiation and temperature, right? So take the constant to give the irradiation and temperature values. And also take the scope. It is useful for the observed waveforms. Elements in elements. Take the RLC branch for capacitor and inductors. And go to power electronics and take a diode and IGBT with diode switch and universal bridge also for designing the inverter and boost converter and we also take a pulse generator right so go to pulse and signal generator so here you can get the pwm generator to give the pulses to inverter so for boost converter you can take the pulse generator so in sources you can get the pulse generator so now take the voltage measurement for measuring the voltage 
in measurements you can get the voltage measurement to measure the voltage and last but not least take the power gui graphical user interface without this one we can't run the circuit okay now take all the elements and design the circuit as per our circuit diagram so first of all what we need we need a solar panel right so take the solar panel here and give it to the irradiation and temperature values right take constant and give it to this one and take the constant and give it to this one here ir means here this is ir right means irradiation here t means temperature so take the irradiation like 1500 and here i am taking the temperature like 25 and give it to the one capacitor right so take the rsc branch and control r command to rotate this one and take the capacitor c and give it the value is like nothing but 0 0.006 farads okay and give it to the solar panel passed on it to decrease the ripple factor we are taking the capacitor here okay? because this capacitor does not allow the sudden changes to protect the remaining circuit we are taking the capacitor okay so and then what we need here after the capacitor we need to connect a boost converter right so this is the boost converter diagram looks like inductor diode and switch okay so take the inductor right click and drag and rotate this one take the inductor and give this inductor value is nothing but 0 0.02 henry and after that connect the diode and connect the switch here for designing the boost converter and connect the another capacitor here so these four makes the boost converter and give value is same 0 0.006 and now after boost up the voltage our home required the ac voltage right so that's why i'm taking the inverter here this universal bridge can make the inverter so here input is a b c means this is the three phase ac so this plus and minus indicates the dc terminals here dc as the input and ac is the output so means we need to flip this block because this dc wants this side and this ac wants that side okay so right click and rotate and flip and flip block and you can also use the command control light to flip this one that's it and take the two bridge because we are taking only single phase click on this one and take the two bridge arms because we are taking only single phase and also take the switches like igbt okay now connect this two and finally connect this to ac load i am taking the resistance load and give it here that's it here you can get the ac output and to give the pulses of this inverter take the pwm generator to level and click on this one and use internal generation only and take here 0.8 pulse width modulation and here our bridge is only single phase right that's why take the single phase full bridge four pulses click on ok and give it to the this gate pulses so now to measure the output voltage take the voltage measurement connect parallel to load because how we are connecting voltmeter in our laboratory same like that you can also connect voltage measurement here and give it to the scope to see the waveforms give this pulse generation to this switch also this igbt with mosfet also a bidirectional switch right this switch also needs a pulse generation to turn on to turn off okay so now give this and double click on pulse generator here take the time as 1 by 1500 why because here they are mentioning the time in seconds but we know the switching frequency only so here i am taking the 1500 hz frequency means time is equal to 1 by f right that's why i am taking the t is equal to 1 by f 1 by f means this 1500 okay and i am taking the pass with modulation as 50 percent and you can also take the voltage measurement here also to measure the solar panel output voltage what we are getting before boosting and take the scope here to see the waveforms and you can also take the voltage measurement after boost up double click on pv array so here these are the parameters we are taking for the our project so here i am taking the parallel strings 20 and series connected modules 5 and i am taking the 60 cells per module here okay and our open circuit voltage is 36.3 and source circuit current is 7.84 these are the parameters I am taking here and click on OK. Now run your circuit. After running, click on this first scope to see the output of this solar panel. Here you are getting the 120 volts DC, right? So in solar panel, we are getting the 120 volts DC. But our home requires 240 volts, right? So that's why I am connecting the boost converter here. So after boost operation, what we are getting? Click on this scope and here after boost operation, you are getting the 240 volts, right? So here you are getting the 240 volts DC supply. Okay, in output of the solar panel, we are getting only 110 to 120, but after boost operation, we are getting the 240 volts, right? And now we give it to the inverter, and at the output of the inverter, we are getting the alternate current. Zoom this one. So, this is the alternating current, right? Here also we are getting the 240 volts AC, right? So, this is the alternating current, but here we are not connected to the passive filter. That's why we are not getting the pure AC, right? We are only getting the pulsating AC, like square waveform, okay? For getting the pure AC, we need to connect the passive filter. So, connect the passive filter here to get the pure AC. So, take the inductor and connect here. 
and take the capacitor. So here I am taking the only LC filter. That's why I am taking the inductor and capacitor and connect these two like this. That's it. This is the passive filter connection. Now run your circuit. So after running, click on this scope. So here you are getting the pure AC. That's the use of passive filter. Okay. Without connecting this filter, we are not getting the pure AC. But after connecting the filter, you can get the pure AC. So this AC we require for our home. That's it. This is the design of solar powered home. And in another video, I am also explaining the same solar powered home with the help of MPPT technique also. So without MPPT technique, we can't extract the maximum power from the solar panel. Okay, I can also provide the link in description of that video.